G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the thermal paste on our MSI GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X 11 gig. Hopefully you can see that model number there. And to begin with, I've got this currently on my blue heat pad. That's just not really here nor there, but it may make the thermal paste slightly easier to crack for me. But once we're over here, we need to take out all these little screws, take out these four screws here. Due to the size of the graphics card, all these little screws are holding together the back plate to the cooler to brace it up so it doesn't bend your graphics card like a banana due to the weight of the cooler. The cooler itself is fairly massive, so if this wasn't here, I would definitely expand to expect to see a slightly bent banana graphics card. Granted, the newer 4000 series, the high-end 3000 series, the RX 7900 series, are all very much in the same boat as this. So flipping that over, can't really see many signs of any issues going on here. I do see a JTAG connector over here. It looks, I'm assuming it's a JTAG connector. So now with that off, I should be able to take out these four screws here, and that should get me into the graphics card, or at least one step closer. Now looking at it, flip this over. I've got the connector down the bottom here for the fans. I think one for the RG some RGB here. If I give this a slight wobble, or a sl just pulling it up slightly while pushing back on the board. There we go. I should be able to fold this down. So we have one connector here. Disconnect him. From there I can fold this out of the way. And the thermal pads on here look to be okay. Thermal pads on here as well. Would have generated a fair bit of heat around here. I'd say this bracket here would also come off, so it does have an extra bracket here going to the front I.O. That one there, I'm gonna not be too concerned about. Next up, I'm going to clean the thermal paste off here. Just use some good old fashioned toilet paper and isopropyl alcohol. This stuff here going by the warranty sticker already being taken off at some stage. I would say this is relatively fresh pliable thermal paste, which if you've never had yours apart, probably won't quite look as good as this one. Yeah, it's definitely still got some liquidy effect to it. And if I put some of this isopropyl on here as well, grab some fresh tissue paper and keep going. There we go. Now, I'll zoom in a little bit here. A little bit more and I'll use one of my favorite tools which is a fine toothbrush just to get rid of the rest of it you don't want an overly strong bristled one as you may damage the little capacitors in there and I find from my experience it works just fine go again go. Looking good. Next up I'm going to use some deep cool Z5 thermal paste on there. If I can get it out of the packaging. There we go. Just give it a little blast, a little smear in the middle. There we go. That's a fairly minute amount. It does come with a little spatula, so we'll give that a smear around. I find it is possible to use too little amount of thermal paste. It's rarely that I see it possible to use too much thermal paste. Granted, you don't want it to absolutely come out the sides and go all over those capacitors. 
but I'd rather that than not have enough to cover it. Go. Just try and get a little extra thermal paste off the spatula. There we go. It's not smooth, but it's going to get tensioned down and smooth out from there. Give my spatula a little clean. Next up, I should be able to fold this back over on itself. I do want to plug this cable over here back in. So I'll tilt the card up slightly. Plug in. There we go. And then what I'd like to do from here is flip it over and line up the holes with the cooler already down. So I'll put the cooler face down and try and match up the holes that I can see. Like so. Push down slightly. There we go. Now I need to put these four screws back in over here. And then after that, we can put the back plate back on. Now I do to do them just a bit before, or just to about finger tightness, and then I'll tighten up after. There we go. Over here too. Okay, so now we'll go talk, 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 and talk. Next up, the back of the brace. Go. Okay. Now it's a matter of putting all those little screws back in once more. These ones should be right to tighten up all the way. I have no issues with doing that one. Just try and do a diagonal to begin with, just so it lines it all up, rather than doing it a whole bunch close together. Granted, if you can see the holes, you're probably going to be perfectly fine. There we go, we've got four more to go. Now this is an older graphics card by today's standards. Granted, the, eight, the 11 gig of VRAM still makes it quite, quite chased after. Um, it is considerably old now as well, but being that it's such a, got such a large amount of VRAM, it tends to be able to run most games relatively good even to today's, or even up until today in 2023. Granted, I probably wouldn't actively go out to buy one of these brand new, but if a cheap one came up second hand or an X mining one was relatively cheap. I find them pretty comparable to the RX 6600 XT. Granted, this does have more VRAM on it. So anyway, that's the thermal paste replaced on the MSI GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X. Hope that helps and I'll see you later. Bye.